Here, I'm gonna look at that idea of when you're in the front back end, and if you're running out of a bit of options and a bit of an unconventional thing to do, is hack the ball down the middle. I see it happen a lot. And especially if you're in the back end here, you could come in, line up, and you're running out of space to maybe hit a straight drive because it's getting tight. It might even be tight enough or too tight to even get around and hit a cross court. So maybe a good little commentating shot is a, maybe I should have gone a little bit wider there, but I can hit it hard down the middle and I can throw myself onto that side wall and ideally try to catch my opponent out. Especially if my opponent's played a shot and they're following up, they might even be kind of anticipating the cross wall to their edging here. They might come, be coming in slightly behind me to be able to look for the stroke. And if I can get there and kind of go like that, quite low and at their feet and or even at their hip height, that's, that's a really awkward shot to, do, to deal with. That hack down the middle. It's a bit tight, a bit awkward, a little bit too high on that one but you get the sense of what I'm trying to do. Um, I used to have a bit of fun with this. I definitely see it happen in the games quite a lot. You're not gonna do it like you know every single shot, of course, but the idea that when you hit it and you test your opponent out slightly differently, you throw something unconventional at them. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, play by the textbook, play by those good ideas, good lines, good parameters, but every so often, if it's not quite right, there we go, I'd be quite happy with that. Through to the T, down in the middle, and as you saw what I did, as I hit, just use all your momentum to throw yourself onto the side wall. Look, if they get it back and pump it back and get into the corner, you've got to go deal with that. But often if you get it right, it's a winner right there and then. So have a little go at that when you're under pressure. I see it on the forehand sometimes, but I mainly see it on the backhand. Running in, bang it down the middle, throw yourself onto the side wall, see what happens, have some, uh, have some fun with that shot as well.